I am happy to again spokespersons of Laimafong Area Women's Wing. First, I would like to say that the main reason for forming this women wing is that since 30th May 2023, our people, especially the Kukizo people, have been facing many challenges due to the attack and torture. And as we could see, there is no signs of peace. We're very, very far from normalcy. At this hour, why are we being abandoned by taking away the uh, some rifles, the, the center forces? It's my appeal to the center government and to the concerned authority to deploy more center forces till normalcy returns. I am not just saying it for the heck of saying it. We can all see it every day. Also, our aim for the Lei Mokong area women wings is to protect our people, especially our children, to be able to give them a normal life. And the safety of the general public lies in the hands of uh, the Assam Rifles, our Indian Army. So it's my earnest appeal to the center government to not deploy them somewhere else. They are needed here, very much needed here, for us to be able to live peace, for us to be able to live like this. Due to the unrest turmoil in the state, as we all know and have seen and have heard in many news, our people have been suffering, running from one place to the other. We have been displaced to many places. Our houses, mainly in Imphal, who are being born and brought up in Imphal, have been chased away like wild animals. We have been scattered all over. We have stayed in a relief camp. The rest, we have been running for our livelihood every day. We've been struggling. That is one of the main reasons why we, the women, wink are being formed, so that we could do something for our society. And today, especially this area, Lei Mokong area, as we all know, it's an isolated area wherein very few of the cookies or people are settled here. And due to the security of the Indian Army, I would say the Assam Rifle, we are able to lift a life till today, I would say. They have played a neutral role in protecting both the community. Our children were not able to go to school last year. We were scattered. We were in an we take shelter in an army camp as even the Indian Army here, they, they are the proof and they are the witness of it. We could not study. Our children could not study. But then, due to the deployment of Assam Rifles, we were able to live a life as not as before, but at least our children were kind of getting used to studying again. But then it was not like before because our sentiments were hurt. Our students, they are traumatized by what had happened. We have all seen in the news. We have been paraded naked. We have been killed. Our body have been slaughtered. We can see that. But then we still fought for it, looking for peace. Not even once we have started the war. Not even once we have started firing. We have always been attacked, being attacked more than 30, 40. Many times it's uncountable we have been attacked. But then we don't respond. We have respect for the Indian Army as well. We never break the rule and I can proudly say this. We have been settled here since the war started. We have controlled, we have maintained discipline in front of the Indian Army. We never try to cross a brother because we have full faith and trust in the system and we have full faith in the Indian Army. We know they, all, they just don't protect us because if we try and cross the border, we are the one to get penalized. Every time we are the one. Anything happened, we are being blamed. But then we don't say anything as it is for the better men of the society because we look forward for peace, but I don't see that is happening. Today we are traumatized and we are shocked at the news of removing the Assam rifle from this area. How will we continue? Why, why is the state government, the center government abandoning us? Today you see our children here wanting to study, who wanted to learn, who wanted to grow for, for, for a country. Are we not the citizens of India? Are our children not the citizens of India? My eyes was filled with tears when I see the students standing in the sun and begging the Assam rifles not to go. Because we trust them. There is no one else to protect us. The state government has turned an, a blah blah eye on us. The central government, it's been, it's been 11 months, it's going to be a year now.
Nobody even, even bothered to look at us. When we die, nobody even cared. We died like wild animals. Our, bo our dead bodies are thrown like wild animals. And today, again, the reason for us to be able to stay here and continue our livelihood, there are some rifles, you're trying to drive them away and place them to some other places. Is this fair? Are we not the citizens of India? Are we not Indian? Have we not fought for the independence of India? Have we not contributed for the country? It's my appeal to the concerned department, to the central government, not to remove, but to detain and strengthen the Assam Rifles. And as we could see, there is no signs of peace. We're very, very far from normalcy. At this hour, why are we being abandoned by taking away the Assam Rifles, the, the center forces? It's my appeal to the center government and to the concerned authority to deploy more center forces till normalcy returns. I am not just saying it for the heck of saying it. We can all see it every day. Also, our aim for the Lei Mokong area women wings is to protect our people, especially our children, to be able to give them a normal life. And the safety of the general public lies in the hands of uh, the Assam Rifles, our Indian Army. So it's my earnest appeal to the center government to not deploy them somewhere else. They are needed here, very much needed here, for us to be able to live peacefully, for us to be able to live like this.